Unbelievably, the 4th of July weekend is this weekend. Yeah. So we're going to make a berry blast of a dessert that is so good for cookouts and potlucks and breakfast or snacking. I'm going to say all of that. Hy-Vee dietitian Nina Struess has the berry blast off. We love our berries, don't we? Yeah, I agree with all of that, too. I know, Just right? eat them whenever I can. I can't get enough of them this time of the year. Oh, I agree. And they're so nutritious, too. All kinds of berries. All kinds of berries, yes. They're very high in antioxidants, which is something that helps to fight free radicals in their body, um, which is, you know, things that we tend to uh, cause us oxidation, oxidative stress in like our body. Like plain old aging or Yep, pollution, our environment. Stress. Yeah. Yes, stress is a huge one. Mm -hmm. uh, so lots of different factors produce these free radicals and antifoods that are high in antioxidants help to fight them and berries are one of our top ones. Strawberries? So strawberries, raspberries, yep. yep, all of them. Everything red or purple. Those are good colors. Dark greens too are good ones okay. as well. Obviously all of our colors have benefits too, but when we're talking about antioxidants, the deep colors are going to be a good mm -hmm. one there too. Also high in fiber, something fiber. that sometimes we forget about around the holidays. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to be able to provide even a dessert that gives an ample amount of fiber that's going to be helpful for our digestive systems and our heart health too. It just says summer, doesn't it? Berries especially. A hundred percent. And they're just, they taste so good this time of the year. I love blackberries too. You didn't bring any of those. I didn't have them. They're this time. so big mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. But you could absolutely include them as well. We were talking red, white, and blue, and I guess blackberries could kind of fit in there too. Red, a little white, bit, blue, but yeah. This goes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to make um, a dessert using angel food cake, yep. which, I, which I love. That's yep. another. That's pretty heart healthy and other things, right? Yeah, it's relatively you know low in fat, so a lot of people use it as a lower calorie, lower fat. Dessert, you can use angel food cake. We also have these fun little shortbreads too that could easily mm -hmm. be, depending on how you're serving it oh, and how many guests bread, you have. Not angel food. It is, okay. it's shortbread. Mm -hmm. Got it. And so you could, you know, use a couple of different vehicles for that as well. For this dessert, we're going to be mixing together about a pound of strawberries and um, a little, a small little six ounce con container of raspberries and then about three quarters of a cup of blueberries. Okay. So you'll mix them together or you could just sprinkle them on, top, them on top like I have here. And then the sauce is just a base of a cup of sour cream and then you can use like a sweetener so we have honey here you could use agave nectar too if you wanted you have about a cup of sour cream and then we are going to add in about a quarter cup of the honey uh -huh. and so that's just going to get whisked together here uh -huh. and then we're just going to drizzle that on top you're going to get a lot of the sweetness you know already coming from can, can you guess what we're doing we're mixing together sour cream and honey yes uh, isn't that good uh -huh. <laughs> there it is <laughs> La, 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 la. I know, right? Kind of um, see it. That's better than just plain old Cool Whip. I mean, it's definitely going to give it a little bit of a different taste, a little bit more tangy, so not as sweet. If you do like Cool Whip, you could absolutely... Look how creamy that is. You could absolutely use it if you would prefer. No. <laughs> Although I love cool whip. But otherwise, you can just, you know, you can drizzle on top. You can just put a little bit right in the middle. So you, could you just do a little bit like that? Yep, it's or really if your you really preference. like creamy things like I do, you could really go for it, Definitely. Right? Okay. And so you can, uh, again, a lot of the sweetness is going to come from the base of whatever cake that you tend to prefer, plus the fruit in there as well. So sour cream is going to give it a nice little tang along with the sweetness that's going to go in there too. Look how good so is that? So nice little easy. I know for, you know, this time of the year and holiday celebrations, I want easy but yeah. refreshing too and it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to scream you know health so it really much does. either and I think nearly everybody likes this kind like this kind of berry mm -hmm. if you if you were to mix them you said to mix these together and mm -hmm. then put the sauce with it um, how would that be so that might it just might take the take it in a different direction honestly if I were doing it you know with like the um, Angel food cake, I would probably drizzle, you know, that on top and then throw the berries oh, on the top. Drizzle. Mm -hmm. Oh, that look, that look mm -hmm. could be neat for a, a presentation. Yep. If it's super hot, you probably should keep it in the fridge. Yes, definitely yep. want to make sure that this is something that you're pulling out that you're going to eat. You're not letting sit out on the table. Anything mm -hmm. that is milk-based is going to be at a higher risk for food safe, for, um, well. you know, foodborne illness. So we want to make sure we're practicing good food safety this summer. Uh, I want to talk about when you get the berries home and they're in that little plastic container. Mm -hmm. Should you wash them right away and and put them in the fridge. So What's it's the best way to preserve it them? It depends on how often you use them. So when I, that's what we do at our house because my kid goes through a container of strawberries in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. So I'll put them in a strainer, I'll rinse them off really good, and then I actually put a little bit of paper towel back in the, on the bottom of that container. I saw you did, you did that when you, yep. when you came in today. Yep, so I line the bottom of it with just like a small strip of paper towel and then put the berries back in the same container. So they can still breathe, but uh, you're not gonna have water all over your fridge. Mm -hmm. Now, when you do wash your fruit, 
it does speed up that process, the breakdown process. And so you'll notice that if you don't use them within a couple of days, those berries might start to get kind of mushy and break down a little bit. So if you're buying them for this dessert, don't wash them until right before you're gonna use them. Got it, okay. And then your trick of the paper towel is it really does help preserve them because uh, if they're too wet, that's when they break right, down. Right, okay. exactly. All right, that's good. So a little tip there from the dietitian. Uh, Hybee.com, this recipe again is called your angel food cake with uh, uh, berries and, uh, and honey cream sauce. So yeah, again, sour cream and a little bit of the honey and then to the consistency that you want. If yeah. you want it you know, real syrupy, you could just maybe do a little more honey. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so we're going to do. We're going to talk something else red later with you. Yes. Right. Very Looking good. Forward to that. It's a cobbler in a crock pot. So get ready for that. <laughs> Thanks, Nina.